Hi there, Massimo from the Blue Root team. And today I want to show you kind of a hidden gem of Zoho. And truthfully, I've been doing this a long time. I haven't seen this in many other CRMs, and it's something that a lot of clients come to us and uh, they're kind of in a pickle and they need to figure out how to clean up data. And there's a bunch of ways to do that, obviously exporting and importing, which we'll have a separate video on. But one very quick way that you can actually utilize is called Zoho Sheet View. So for example, like let's say I'm looking at my opportunities here and there's a bunch and let's say all of a sudden I want to change the type of opportunity. I want to mass update a type. You can mass update. You can also, and I think I've shown that in another video where you could click here and actually mass update a record. Um, you could also go here into the tabular view and click here and actually mass update a record. But if you want to do a number of things at once and you want to have some logic behind it, or maybe you actually want to uh, put some Excel formulas in it, you can actually do that by hitting Zoho Sheet View. So this feature is available in contacts, accounts, and opportunities. And the idea behind it is Zoho actually takes this data, puts it on a Zoho Sheet, which is like Excel, uh, but in the cloud and it's Zoho's product. You can update the records and hit save, and then it updates the CRM again. So a lot of people that are very comfortable with Excel love this. And so let me show you. I hit Zoho Sheet View. If this is the first time you've ever clicked it, it will show a little warning like this saying you can only add, you can only work with 100 rows at a time, et cetera. And that is the limitation of this. So if you're going to try to mass update 5,000 records or something like that, this will be an issue because you'll have to do it a number of times. Uh, but if you're only really trying to update a few records, this is a great model to use. So I always hit don't show again because once I see this warning once, I'm fine. And we're going to hit continue. Now, inside of here, you can see it'll populate everything I just saw on the actual uh, opportunity page here. So just like Excel, you can kind of go like this. You can kind of grow all the columns, things like that. And what I'm going to do in this scenario is actually I'm going to change the dollar amount just to show you here. So I could make this 20000 and now when I hit save, either here or at the top right, it'll update the record back in the Sierra. So you can do all kinds of things and it actually has some functions here. So you could do like something like this. Oops. So you could do equals and you could do this plus that, right? It has some functionality, all kinds of features like that. And this is something that a lot of clients like. So once I hit save now, just to show you, You'll see it's saving up here. Wait till this is done. Don't close the tab. It takes a few minutes. Okay, it's saved. And now you can see this will be 20,000 if I hit the little refresh here. It's 20,000. So that's an easy example of how you can clean up your database. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is you can only do 100 records at a time. So if you have a database, let's say, for example, this one here. I have 10 records. There's three on the next page. You are going to have to do Zoho Sheet View. Like, let's say you had 100 records. Then go to the next page and do it again for these three. How I'd recommend doing that is creating a view. So maybe you'd create a view here and say, clean up. You'd give it some criteria on the records you want to clean up. So maybe you would say, like, city equals whatever. And then once you create this view, you start going through each section or 100 records at a time, or 50 records at a time, whatever you want to do, the maximum is 100, cleaning it up. And uh, yeah, that's Zoho Sheet View. Very handy feature, kind of a hidden feature. Not many people know about it. And do keep in mind when you're using this feature, it can be dangerous, right? Like you are updating the database en masse. Thanks for watching.